We came up with the name Give It to the People because it was originally a podcast. And what happened was our original company was called Lady Business, which is what everybody has known us for for the last like 10 plus years. Um, and that was the company that was really more so for just me. When we decided to do something together, we were like, well, what are we going to name it? And Lady Business had a slogan, which at the time was totally different than this one. And it was show up and show out before everybody was using show up and show out. Let's be clear. Um, and so what happened was, you know, I felt like, okay, well, once everybody started using it, we need another something to say, well, what do we do for the people right like and and what are we giving and so it just came out instead of you know saying show up and show out it was like you know give it to the people and so at the end of classes and things i would just say you know well people you know i'm I, i'm here to give it to the people what did you get and then people would give me responses and feedback and so um i was like well we've been using it for a while that's the thing that makes sense let's name that the business because when people are asking well what do you do i'm very big on names and what what things mean and and how they feel and so give it to the people just was a natural progression from going from a podcast to then saying well people already know that they're getting familiar with it and so let's let's use it as the business and that's it. yeah right i mean we always trying to give it to the people that's let's, it let's give you something yeah something to one with. yeah and i mean i think it's one of those things that's unique enough to not be confused with something else as far as when you want to name something you want it to be memorable and and i think that people get that from us is you know you know when you come to something they're going to give it to the people and so you know i always look at it as it is what you feel like it could be right like you can interpret it but um you know it's just always education feeling energy all of the excitement that you get whenever you come to the things that we do as a business owner, what is the biggest challenge we face? What do you think that is? I think the biggest challenge would be to always come up with something slightly different. Uh, mm -hmm. Not coming up with the same thing mm -hmm. over and over. And I mean, and, and when you're dealing in a certain sect, sometimes what you're doing can seem repetitive mm -hmm. they can and I, I think one of the biggest things is that, and it doesn't hurt to have someone with a, a major creative juice <laughs> oh, such, creative as, juice? such as this you know young lady right here <laughs> but uh, it, it, that can be challenging at times yeah I mean I think so I also think that um Sometimes understanding that other people don't think like you and getting them to understand that it is much better if you collaborate, if you partner, if you don't try to do everything yourself. And that to me has been a challenge for some people because I think a lot of times business owners want to do everything themselves and we do a lot by ourselves, but the success that we've had as, as give it to the people specifically has always been in part with the idea that it wasn't about us. It was about giving it to the people and seeing what the people wanted. And so when you start to, to actually look at, you can't do everything by yourself. You do need to collaborate. You do need to find partners. You do need to find alliances. That to me has been um, not necessarily that challenging, but sometimes to get other people to really understand that, you know, because we have that concept, but I think once more people get it, they'll understand and then they'll be more successful too. All right, so if you want to find us on social media, you can go to um, give it to the people, but it's not spelled out. The social media is like, you know, out of control. There's too many letters. So it's G-I-V-I-T, the number two, T-H-E-P-P-L. And then if you just go to give it to the people, spelled all the way out, dot com, then you'll be able to reach us online. And that's where you'll find all of our classes, our webinars, membership, you know, all the things that we